and I'm so tired of the dirty looks that I get because I want to wear nice hair and makeup and clothes. quarantine made me do it. My first one, I really never wanted to do this, cut my own hair. My whole life growing up, I was super insecure about my body, my weight. I struggled with my weight from age five. The one thing I could always count on to make me feel good was my hair. So for me to have to tackle that because there's no salons open right now, it was a little tricky, but it's okay. I bought hairdressing scissors <laughs> and a fancy Walmart comb. You know, I did the best I could. And I'm pretty happy with the bottom part. The bangs, they need a little work, but that's okay. If you're like me and you're someone whose hair is like, you don't touch it, it's like only salon and it's something that makes you feel good, just know cutting my hair is like super difficult and you can do it. Just do it a little at a time and do the best you can. And just know that if it doesn't turn out great, it's hair, it'll grow back. First, what I did was I took my face framing layers and I clipped them up and then I separated the length of my hair in half like this way. And I brought the first part to the front and then I just went, I pulled, I combed my hair straight and then I just took the scissors and I went straight across. And then I did that for both sides until it was even. And I just went a little bit at a time until I was happy. So to make it look a little less like straight across, I, I just cut upwards a bit and it made it look a lot more natural. And then I put my layers down and I took the shortest and I put them in front and I went straight across. And then I cut upwards again and I let them down. And I repeated that for each length of layer in the front, and, and that's, that's it. My bangs, I made like a sort of triangle part for my bangs, and then I took the side piece, and I learned what you do is you cut it the opposite way of how you want it to lie. So I pulled it across, and right across, hold it straight, and then I just cut straight. And then, again, I did the point cutting upwards to make it a little less straight across. My bangs aren't the greatest. I did the same for the other side. I have to improve the bangs. Everything else I'm really happy with. My bangs, I got a little carried away. <laughs> because there's no salons right now, I've been experimenting with doing my own nails. And I discovered that this nail polish is the best. This Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. You don't need a bottom coat and you just paint on two coats of the gel and then you put this top coat on. Uh, every nail polish I've ever bought from the drugstore chips. This stuff lasts about four or five days before it chips for me. So this stuff is awesome. And the color that I'm wearing right now, it's sugar fix. I bought myself a foot file so I could be a real manicure pedicure girl. And the mask that I'm wearing in the thumbnail in the winter, the winters can be really harsh in Canada, which is where we live. And I found out that clay masks are really good for hydration. So this is a the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Mask. And this stuff is really good. It makes my skin feel really nice and moist. Not moist, um, nice and smooth and soft. <laughs> oh, and the friends, all the stuff I'm showing you, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just showing you the products that I'm trying out or that I've found that are really good and mostly got them from shoppers, Walmart, and Amazon. I know I'm starting to see gray and I know I'm gonna have to dye my hair, but I haven't done it yet because I'm still a little bit scared. Like I said, my hair is a security blanket, so. You've never dyed your hair before? I dyed it once myself a long time ago when you and I first started dating and it's so bad, <laughs> I never did it again. However, I researched and I found that this is supposed to be one of the top rated drugstore box dyes. So I bought this one at Walmart and it's Schwarzkopf 
Keratin Color. 4.0 is the color, cappuccino. It's supposed to be like a dark brown. So once I get brave enough, we'll, we'll see. Let me know the friends if you've ever dyed your own hair and you have any tips and if you've used that stuff. Since you know you can't go out to the beach right now and you can't really go get a lovely tan at the beach, I brought the tan to me. <laughs> I bought some tanner, some sunless tanner. This Claren stuff I've been using for a while on my face. It's really good and it doesn't get splotchy or anything. And this stuff I've tried once. It's really good. It gets really good color and it lasts for at least five days, but it does um, how do you call that? It does fade a little bit splotchy, but it gives you a really nice color, especially if you're really pale like I am. I also bought a tanning mitt. The tanning mitt is amazing for application. I also bought a hair waver <laughs> to make my hair get all wavy. <laughs> this is like the wavy dance. Um, so this is called the three barrel curling iron. It's essentially a hair waver, so you can get beach style waves without the beach. It works really good actually, too. <laughs> if you are nervous of doing any of those things, let me just say, it feels really good and fun to make, to take things into your own hands and be independent with that stuff. You're gonna make mistakes. I made mistakes. I am not perfect at any of this stuff. I had really orange knees and elbows my first self tan, but just know you learn as you go and it's worth it. You don't have to wait for, for stuff to open up again. You can take control of it and you can make yourself feel beautiful. Number two, this one is very difficult. Eat new foods. If you guys have been watching us for a while, you know that we eat similar, Kyle and I eat similar, six days a week. We eat pretty much the same things. And one day a week we have a cheat day. However, right now, most of the foods that we normally eat to stay lean, ha has they're not available anymore. And so we've been forced to go out and buy new foods. We have to go to several different stores to find meat or protein. A lot of protein that we don't usually eat, you know, and it's actually turned into something cool because we're finding changing up our veggies, our protein, our fruit, needing to go to grocery stores we've never gone to before. We're discovering all these things that are actually helping our diet. Our body is responding to the different food and it's actually helping us stay lean. And at the starting, like if you guys don't know, me and Nicole lost 130 pounds each. So it was actually pretty stressful to think that our normal diet was very hard to find or we couldn't find it at all. We were up worrying about what, how our diet was gonna be affected. If you know not having the foods available that we needed was gonna make us gain weight. We've discovered it's actually doing the opposite. It's actually, our bodies are responding and we've been able to keep muscle and even gain muscle with the gyms being closed because we're working at home. We've been able to stay lean and even lose a little bit of weight while eating new food. As we conquer these things, it's making us feel so confident. Yes, we're learning anything can be taken away at any time, but we're so versatile that we can just find something else that works. And it's really cool to discover, you know, it's a little bit scary. And then you get over that first like little hurdle and then you're like, what was so scary about that? Oh, give me the next thing to try. You know, it's like, it's actually really exciting. Number three, getting out of my comfort zone with clothing. So there's two parts to this. First is just being, by having to shop online, I can't just go to the store and go straight to the racks that I normally get my clothes off of. I need to go online and go through all the new arrivals on the website. All of the clothes that I normally get, because everyone's shopping online, all my sizes are gone. But unique clothing that I normally wouldn't choose, my sizes are there. So I'm stepping out of my comfort zone buying different clothes that I never would have bought had this quarantine not happened. Getting out of my comfort zone and dressing the way I like to go to stores, grocery stores. The only place you can go right now is the grocery store. But if, if you don't know me, if this is your first video watching me, I'm a girly girl. I wear full makeup to the gym. I match my gym outfit. You know, 
I like to be fancy. I'm a fancy girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not going anywhere fancy, even if it's just at the grocery store in self-isolation, that hurts me to my soul. So I wear full makeup and high heeled boots just to get chicken and then I come home. And I'm so tired of the dirty looks that I get because I want to wear nice hair and makeup and clothes. So getting out of my comfort zone, just wearing something that is looked down upon right now, which is why if you haven't checked out our Instagram, on Saturday I posted a picture of me wearing a fancy dress and fancy boots and I went to pick up pizza in that outfit <laughs> and then I came home and changed. But it was something I needed to do because I want to, I don't want people to take away my confidence and I don't want to lose myself just because of something that's going on around me. I don't want to lose who I am and I'm a fancy girl. So, you know, if you feel me and you don't want to lose that either, you just write fancy girl down below if you're a fancy girl like me, okay? This, this quarantine is clearly making me loopy because I bought a bikini. Wow. I, I, like I said, I've struggled with my weight my entire life. I bought one bikini before and I never wore it. I stuffed it under my, um, the bottom of my pajamas in my drawer and I never took it out. And I eventually just donated it because I never wore it. This time I bought one and I actually like it. And I never would have gotten the confidence if I hadn't have had to do all these things. Cut my own hair, be my own salon person, choose new food, go to the buy chicken at the grocery store in fancy boots, I never would have had the confidence to buy a bikini. You're like, what's one more thing? Yeah, what's wearing a bikini? What's buying a bikini? What's wearing one on camera? Why don't I do that? <laughs> Ta-da! This is from H&M, by the way, and this is a push-up bra bikini top. This is a push-up bikini top, and then these are Brazilian high-waist bikini bottoms. I never really ever wanted to buy a bikini because I have loose skin on like my chest area and I have loose skin on my legs and on my stomach and I always wanted to buy a one piece because I thought it would keep everything in but because the way my body is a one piece I have to order them in a bigger size and they just look like a grandma, like a saggy grandma bathing suit. <laughs> and they're, they don't fit me properly. And I, I always was settling for bathing suits and I never felt good in any because I kept getting ones to cover me up. Well, this time I thought, what if I get a push-up bikini top? That would help with the loose skin in this area. And it, I maybe not, wouldn't feel so non like unconfident. And it actually did help. So for those of you that have loose skin in that area, that actually helps. I never thought to get Brazilian because I was afraid to show too much skin, but because of all the loose skin and stuff that I have, the Brazilian cuts me in the right area without making everything push out too much like the high waist bikini bottoms do because they go like kind of like that and it's unflattering. So for the friends that are a little bit nervous like me to show skin, this is actually the most flattering bathing suit I've ever had because of the push up top and the Brazilian bottoms. All right, number four, let go of routines. Because I'm working from home right now, and because because the grocery store's hours changed, everything about my whole day has changed around completely. I am such a routine person that that really has thrown me off, but I'm starting to get in the swing of it now. You know, I, I'm used to Kyle and I going to the grocery store at 10 o'clock at night or, um, you know, having a very specific way that I run my day but when you are working from home and the grocery store hours are different, everything's different. And it's actually kind of cool to not have to go by a specific routine anymore. It's making me more go with the flow, which I've never been able to do. And number five is to let go of fear and uncertainty. The whole thing, everything going on, it's scary and uncertain right now. 
and I'm tired of being like stressed out and scared and worried and never knowing what's gonna happen and everybody's in the same boat and I just, I wanna let go of being scared of the unknown and what's going to happen and I just wanna be here in the moment and I wanna do the opposite of what my head tells me. So if it tells me feel guilty for wearing fancy boots at a grocery store, I'm gonna wear fancy boots at a grocery store. And this morning, it wanted me to get up and do all my chores and you know, hurry up and do it, get my cardio done, rush through everything. And that's what I do every morning because of my anxiety. I rush through and get all these chores and things done just to help my anxiety. And then my anxiety comes up with new things to do. So instead of doing that this morning, I did the opposite. I laid down on the couch and I watched a movie with Hank and waited for Sassmeister to do my cardio. When I woke up, I thought there was a different woman in our house because I had never in like, I don't know how long we've we been together. It's, it feels like 50 years, but. Um, I think 13 or 14 years. So in 56 years that I've known Nicole, <laughs> I have never woken up to see her just relaxing. She's always busy, always on the go, always doing chores, always preparing lists, doing something. And it was really a relief. And I was so happy for her that she finally let herself relax. And I'm always up before Sassy because my anxiety forces me to get up early even if I'm sleepy. So that's why he gets up later and he's like, whoa, she's not doing stuff. And I was really proud to be on the couch doing that and to see how proud he was of me. And I could have never let go and done that and just be okay with being here and not worry about the future. Just let whatever's happening happen and do the opposite of what my anxiety tells me. I couldn't have done it without the quarantine. So yeah, it's forcing us to do stuff. And a lot of people are stressed and a lot of people have lost their jobs or forced in a different routine, but you can take good out of it. And this is why we wanted to do this video. Like I didn't want to do any of this stuff. And I actually am having fun and I'm proud of myself every step that I take, even if it's to wear fancy boots or to cut my bangs, even if it's not a great job. I bought a bikini. It's making me do things outside of my comfort zone and I'm having fun and realizing that I was missing out on so much before this happened because I was scared and I'm not living my life scared anymore. So. Hope you enjoyed it, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications for more videos. Check us out on Instagram and TikTok at The Colettes. And don't forget to like a Rooney and subscribe if you didn't already. And thanks for watching, thanks for your support. We hope you enjoyed this video. We love you guys. Peace out, The Colettes all right. Whoa. You took the crazy elevator downstairs. That was the shaky wave. Inspired by my new hair waver. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye guys. Peace out. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.